Did you know that the mainstream theory about the obesity crisis might not tell the whole story? Let's dive into some fascinating historical evidence that challenges the calories in, calories out narrative. The mainstream theory is that people consume excessive calories and move insufficiently. Alternative nutritional perspectives like keto and veganism only partially challenge this narrative, pointing to different culprits like excessive carbs or meat. However, there's a near universal consensus on the overconsumption of sugar in modern diets. But here's the thing, Historically, we used to eat a lot more, including more carbs and sugar, and yet we weren't as obese as we are today. This presents a paradox that challenges the idea that obesity is simply a result of consuming too many calories. In fact, a 1932 study found that children were consuming around 2,500 calories per day. That's significantly more than the recommended 1,400 calories for children aged 4 to 8 today. And yet, these children from the past were not as obese as the children of today. A 1953 study also found that industrial workers, even in light labor roles, were consuming around 3,200 calories per day without becoming obese. This suggests our metabolisms may have been significantly faster in the past. The decline in average body temperature and the potential role of factors like polyunsaturated fatty acids, bisphenol A, and heavy metals may have contributed to the observed decrease in metabolic rates over time. So the obesity crisis might not be as simple as calories in, calories out. There are fascinating historical clues that suggest our understanding of this issue may be incomplete. What do you think? Let me know in the comments.